What's good, YouTube? Daniel Buchanan managed to take first place at the St. Louis Regionals. I have his tournament report here, so let's get into it while you have the deck list here that we can read through later. Round 1, he faced Skull Servant Light Sworn in 1-2-0. Round 2, World Chalice, he bricked Game 1. Game 2, he summoned Christian, I didn't have an out. And Game 3, I make a Raijin and book his normal, stop all of his plays, and that's the game. Round 3, Pendulum Magician's 1-1 draw. It was the first time for me playing against the deck. And Game 2, I messed up by being able to have game, but he had a back row that I didn't know. And by the time I found out it was Unending Nightmare, it was too late. Unending Nightmare is a, a card that I play in my Pendulum Magicians that I really like against decks like these because it shuts these down. So that is kind of a surprise to a lot of people when they first play against the deck and they don't know that's a side option. Round 4! Through six were all Pendulum Magicians, which I won 2-0, except for one of them. Round seven, Infernoid Lightsworn at table four. I did not expect to be playing against it, but I ashed his Decatron game one. Game two, he bricked, and I ashed his Void Feast. Round eight, I played against Justin Singh with his Draco ABC and won 2-0. First game, he warninged my Tribute Summon and was able to make a Masterpiece and Magellancia after an attack for game. Game 2, I ashed his terraforming, and on my turn, he flipped anti-spell. I had heritage and invocation with an Alistair, so I set to normal Alistair to search invocation and set it so he would purposely banish with ABC Buster. Then on my next turn, I flipped heritage, made a masterpiece, he tagged out for Buster, so I used my other invocation, making a Purgatorio, brought back Alistair to make him 4300 and attack all of his monsters for game. Purgatorio is so clutch! My shoutouts are to my friends Billy and Brent, who basically helped me get better at the game and mentor me. Guardian Games in Indiana, which is my locals, and Alex Bradshaw, who runs the store for having uh, and for having a store with competitive players that help me keep improving. Whew, that was uh, a bit of a mouthful for me. So Daniel Buchanan taking first place over at St. Louis, I do believe. So here we go into the deck list. We've got three Alistair the Invoker, three Ash Blossom Joyous Spring, two Ghost Ogre, no shortage of hand traps with Maxi down here. We've got Ignis, double Majesty Maiden, a Mariam, the true Draco Phoenix, and double Masterpiece. We've got one Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. He's the only one that needs to be normal summoned for your Spellbook engine. We've got two Disciples. We've got three Dragonic Diagram, two Invocation, one Meltdown, two Desires, one Regeki, two Spellbook Knowledge, dropping it on him, uh, two Secrets, three Terraforming, three True Draco Heritage, one Strike, one Warning, three Apocalypse, and a True King's Return. This is a pretty nicely built solid deck. It looks like it's actually made for consistency. Uh, it's not budget by any means though, kiddos. Two Denko Seca, two Gamma Seal, two Cosmic Cyclone, two Forbidden Chalice, two System Down, ready for them ABC and Cosmos. Two Twin Twisters, two Anti-Spell, and one Imperial Order. I do want to say as ABC rises, Cosmos gets hurt because of this card. One Invoked Kaliga, one Cocoitus, one Elysium, one Magellancia, Double Mechaba, double Purgatorio. Oh, I love this Gengar looking dude. Two Raijin, one Castell, one Diamond Dire Wolf, one Tornado Dragon, one Decode Talker, and a Proxy Dragon. Never forget Azura Priest with Big Bang Shot attached that only gets bigger. Ooh, never forget. Never forget Aroni. It gets a natural boost in the deck. So there you have it. Daniel Buchanan taking down a very strong first place. Great tournament report, my man. Thank you for sending in your profile. This is our first look at the new format on the channel in terms of deck profiles, it looks like, from the competitive scene.